how to have fun cruising that's right folks we got a special video for you today the carnival pride 15 pointers for this ship if you're getting ready to book your cruise for 2023 you're gonna definitely want to watch this video definitely hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and hit that subscribe button also check out all of our other great videos here on how to have fun cruising so today we're going to talk about that's right folks the spirit class ship named carnival pride it was launched way back in 2020 it was 370 75 million dollars 88 thousand tons 963 feet long this is a great ship a good size 12 decks on it all together and uh, overall goes 25 miles an hour 22 knots carries over 2124 passengers with a crew of 930 that's right folks so let's get started pointer number one uh is that's right you want to check out our current walkthrough videos and tours on our sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors. We do the full walkthrough, top to bottom, here on How to Have Fun Cruising. We kind of tailor our walkthroughs for the top of the ship with all the Lido decks, sports decks, spas, all of that stuff. So kids tend to like to watch our top of the ship series. Pointer number two. Don't miss the show. So many people, they get on these cruise ships, uh, have a great day, they lay out at the pool, they go on their shore excursions, and they go to dinner and they skip the shows. Big mistake, especially with these uh, ships that were built about 20 years ago. They have huge colossal theaters that you can really stretch out, sit back, put your drink on your table, and watch some fantastic shows. And even though it may not be quite Broadway, the fact of the matter is, for what you pay for a Broadway show today is super expensive. Uh, getting into the city, you name it. And quite honestly, these shows are great. And they have the comedy shows also uh, that you can't go wrong. But overall, uh, definitely don't miss the shows. As you can see here, uh, the crowds get in early. There's another key tip for you for these comedy acts. And they bring in a lot of comedians during the trip. And uh, you're definitely going to want to check those out. So don't forget the shows. That's the main takeaway. And let's move on to pointer number three. That's right, folks. Pointer number three is, you're not going to believe this one. That is book ahead for your steakhouse. So a lot of these newer ships will have two or three upgrade restaurants. Well, the older ships, not the case. Uh, they put more focus on one big old fancy restaurant. In this case, it's the Steakhouse, and it is fantastic. It is uh, up here on Deck 10, and as you can see here, it's called David's Steakhouse. And Aliche loved it. The service was great. The food was great. The steaks were fantastic. I've been on the fancy cruise lines like Celebrity and the others. But the steakhouses on these uh, older Carnival cruise ships are outstanding. And you're going to really enjoy them. But they book up fast. So you're going to wow, definitely want to book Wow, David's Steakhouse, ahead, huh? For sure. Well, I really love the view. What? Hey always having a great time but like i said look at this ribeye the fillets were fantastic all the food was good the lamb chops on the carnival pride outstanding okay so tip number four you guys ready enjoy the sports deck in splash zone you know so many adults they get hung out laying by the pool not doing much activity i would encourage you especially if you have kids or you know it's not your typical uh you know to go out and shoot basketball or kick some soccer balls around i would encourage oh. you to try it for sure take a look at this what he hits yeah. it <laughs> so you know it's fun uh you know it's been a long time since i've been playing basketball and soccer yeah. But the main takeaway is no matter how old you are, you know, no question about it, you can get out there, play some volleyball, soccer, basketball, and putt putt, right? Everybody can play putt putt, and it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, Carnival does a great job with their ships with this. They definitely have all of the different activities up there. But how about this splash zone? I was really surprised for this size ship. They've got all the little slides for the kids. 
um, and really nice area here uh, for them to play and uh, enjoy. And they've got that big splash bucket. Um, but they've also got a nice variety of slides. You know, so many of these ships today, there's some of these ships that are high-end ships that don't have slides, believe it or not. Uh, you know, we did a whole video on the Allure of the Seas. Magnificent ship, gorgeous, but no slides. I mean, you got to have slides, right? And Carnival does a great job of that. And as you can see here, gorgeous slides and they're up there i mean you hike all the way up and uh you're way way up in the sky and these are no like little kid slides i mean they've got some nice slides uh, for you your girlfriend your wife uh you can get everybody out there and hit these slides 42 inch uh height on that a limit of 300 pounds uh, but overall, uh, really cool, and this uh, Green Thunder was uh, a fantastic slide, and your kids will love this splash bucket. So you've taken the kids to the slide areas, had a lot of fun, but now it's time for some alone time without the kids. <coughs> Carnival's got you covered. Tip number five, get away from the kids. Head over to Serenity area or back to your room or wherever you want to hang out. But Carnival is set up. They've got great kids clubs for all different age groups. Check this out. If you have kids, this is the place for you. Camp Ocean. You can just leave them down for a day and go upstairs and have fun. And they will become a nice penguin, shark, and stingray. That's right. The kids love it. The first day is always a little iffy, but after that, they make their friends. And you can relax out on that pool deck, enjoy yourself while Carnival does the rest with all of these kids' zones. They do a great job. So I've always been very, very impressed. They've got all the equipment, the computers, the game consoles, you name it, and they break it out by the different age groups, right? So you've got Camp Ocean, super cool. Take a look at this. You know, this is gorgeous. For this size ship to have these bigger areas, I think they've really, with more of the newer ships, uh, kind of, you know, when you look at the percentage of square footage, I think it's actually smaller than it is on some of these older ships. I mean, the kids area here is fantastic. I want to thank Carnival for letting us film this. Uh, they, this is definitely a restricted area, but they allowed us at a certain time to come in and do this for our YouTube channel. Uh, you've got the penguins from age two to five. You've got the Circle C from age 12 to 14. Um, you know, no question about it. These are some cool clubs. Club O2 is the place for teenagers. If you have a teenager, maybe it's where they will love to hang out. Hey, I always try to throw in a bonus tip or two on these videos to help out the parents. So how about this one? A great way to spend some time with your kids. Take them to the arcade. I mean, this arcade is fantastic. Lots of games. Uh, you can hang out in there with them for, you know, a half hour, an hour. They're going to love you to death uh, for hanging out with them in the arcade, playing some air hockey, some of the different games. And uh, quite honestly, it's not just for the kids. I mean, you got a girlfriend, you just got married, you want to have some fun, uh, take a break from the other stuff, get in here and play some games and uh, you will have a great time. And one of the other big secrets on these cruise ships is the candy shop. That's right. Uh, all these carnival crews, cherry on top, definitely check it out. Okay, enough with the kids. You've got them in the camp. Now it's time to get away from the kids and go to the Serenity area. That's right. Carnival's done a nice job with this over the past 10 years of building these into all of the different cruise ships. And this is an adult-only area. That's right. Uh, the cushions are nicer. The pool is really nice. Uh, you've got the jacuzzi. You don't have a bunch of kids running around. It's not crazy. You can read a book, relax, get your nice suntan. And, uh, you know, this is one of the areas that you're going to want to check out early on. Make sure you get your chairs. Usually it's not too bad uh, on the Carnival Serenity areas. They usually have plenty of, of uh, lawn chairs out there and uh, places to hang out. Uh, but we always enjoy this area. It's a nice break in the day, especially if you're trying to get a suntan and just relax. Really, really enjoyable. And as you can see here, they also have the bar area um, where you can have drinks and uh, just hang out. So we highly recommend this area uh, to get away from the kids and just relax.
Now it's all about pool time. Tip number seven, enjoy the pool, deck dancing, late movies. This is kind of the center of the ship where all the action happens, lots of fun, and uh, Carnival has always done a great job with this, with the entertainment side of things, and trying to make sure everybody has a fun cruise. And uh, no question about it, their ships are all similar design, where you have the central pool area, typically a big screen for the movies, nice big pool that everybody can swim in. And then you have a couple of different bars, no different at this place. Uh, you've got the Red Frog Rum Bar, super cool, and uh, the Blue Iguana, no question about that, another great bar to hang out. Both of them, as you can see right here next to the pool, so you can have your drinks. Uh, you can just walk over and relax in uh, your chair and enjoy the sun. And they're always playing some great music out there, having a good time. So no question about it, uh, Carnival does an awesome job with this. And you'll really enjoy the Carnival Pride. They have activities going on all the time. Uh, we met a bunch of our friends there, had a great time and really, really enjoyed this part of the ship, for sure. But it doesn't end there. That's right, folks. In the evening, you're going to get all kinds of different activities, dancing, and uh, we had a ball out on the dance floor, really, really enjoying it, and uh, take a look at this. And also, you'll see, we also had some great movie nights, and uh, you'll get to see some of that here next. Okay, so all that dancing makes you hungry. Well, no question about it. If you love the buffet, it's chow down time. That's right. Enjoy the food and Carnival's got a ton of it. So, uh, you know, the buffet is just loaded with chow as you can see here. And it doesn't really matter what your interests are. They typically have it. So if you're into salads and healthy food, they've got that. No question about it. And when you think about how much you pay for a Carnival cruise, and the quality of the food, it's pretty remarkable. Yeah, you can get better food and higher end cruise ships, but you're gonna pay a lot more for it and it's marginally better, right? So when you think about the dollar, the value impact of it, it's hard to beat Carnival, truthfully. Uh, pizza all the time, uh, one of the great perks of Carnival is pizza and ice cream and all of this stuff. They don't have specialty hours where you know the machines aren't working. The uh, ice cream's good to go. And how about the sweets? I don't know what was going on with the Carnival Pride. I don't know if it came down from the captain's orders, but it just seemed like they had more desserts than any of these Carnival cruises we've been on lately or any other, car uh, any other cruise ship. So they were definitely trying to get that customer delight because they just had tons of cakes and cookies and all kinds of great desserts every single day up there. It was crazy. Brand new coffee machines, um, really good. You can get regular decaf, uh, obviously all your juices included, that kind of stuff. And you can get drink packages if you need. You got the Carvery here, lots of great chow. This is kind of good old school, um, you know, food, uh, pretty much anything that you can think of, they're serving up. And they change the menu nightly, which is super cool also, and uh, really great. So lots to pick from. One of the things we really like with Carnival is the deli. That's right, they've got the hot and cold, you can see here on the hot side, buffalo chicken, meatball, classic grilled cheese. They've got the Cubans, they've got all the hot pastrami's, lots of good stuff, and all the cold deli sandwiches too. So that's a nice break uh, if you're you know, trying to do something different or for lunch. But you've got chopsticks here, a lot of Asian food, really, really good stuff. And believe it or not, it doesn't end there. They do have uh, you know, an upscale seafood area where you do have to pay extra, but it is outstanding. Uh, we really, really enjoy that. Uh, you can get the crab legs and uh, you know all kinds of good stuff there for sure. Take a look at that seafood, great shrimp, uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, so highly recommend that. How about for breakfast? Breakfast, we always do the buffet. Uh, they do have 
different places to have breakfast, but it just seems so much faster and easier to get up there. You can get your omelet made your way and uh, really nice layout of chow for sure. And Aliche is always happy with the food at the buffet. Just absolutely awesome, huh, Aliche? Yeah, it looks so good. You ready to go eat? Yes, I am. But once again, take a look at these desserts. It's never ending on Carnival Pride. So I don't know what was going on, like I said, but we were like, what? There was just so many cakes, so many different ones every single night. It was spectacular, to be honest. But how about Guy's Burgers? No question about it. Our favorite burger uh, out in the out of all the cruise ships, uh, still Guy's Burgers wins hands down. Homemade cut fries, uh, really nice topping bar. Um, if you haven't been on a Carnival cruise ship, I highly recommend that you get over to Guy's Burger and try those out. You're going to be super impressed. And comment down below if you know one cruise line that makes a better burger than, than Guy's Burger. I don't think so. It's not going to happen. But definitely interested in your feedback uh, down below. In addition, you've got that blue iguana, tons of great Mexican food. No quite, They've got the burritos, the tacos, the salsa bar. They've got it all, and it is also excellent. No question, some great chow, but that's not where it ends. Right next to that blue iguana, in the hallway, on the Carnival Pride, is, that's right, the ice cream machines. And if you love Carnival... Uh, and you love ice cream, you know that these guys do it right. So um, always open, uh, all you can eat, and uh, we always enjoy the ice cream. I try to not get in trouble with the leeches. All right, tip number nine, work out and enjoy the spa. That's right, if you're gonna do all this eating, chowing down at the buffet, going crazy, then, you know, you got to get in there and work out. And uh, if you're not in the working out, you definitely can go in there and get your massage, your pedicures, your manicures, your haircuts, you name it. There's Aliche getting ready for her massage. She loves that. And no question about it, these guys have done a great job. Uh, really nice, clean facilities. Uh, the locker rooms are great. Plenty of towels, no issues with anything. Um, overall, really, really clean and very nice. What about this gym? I mean, these older ships, when you think about the amount of square footage that they have for their theater, for the gym, for you know the kids' areas, um, they actually have more as a percentage of the overall size ship. Take a look at this workout club. Full of windows, really, really nice, three floors, tons of equipment. There was more equipment than you know, per passenger than I think there is on any cruise ship. This Carnival Pride, you never had to fight for any equipment whatsoever. I mean, there was always plenty of treadmills uh, and different workout equipment. They have the free weights, you name it. It's all there. So uh, really, really nice. Uh, once again, very clean. Carnival did a nice job with this. And when you think about the amount of money you pay for this cruise, to have these type of facilities, to have it this clean, this nice, it's extremely impressive. Uh, much nicer than a lot of hotels. I travel all over the world, Aliche and I do. And, uh, you know, I still think cruising is the best value out there today. Okay, so if you're not a gym person and you need to still burn off all that chow, definitely we're going to give you, that's right, tip number 10. That's dance like no one is watching. That's right, folks. I mean, they've got a big old disco, two-story high on this uh, ship and uh, Carnival Pride, I mean, you feel like you're back in the Bee Gees days, uh, Saturday Night Fever. Uh, you know, it is, it's going on on this ship. If you love the dance, there was dancing every night, and we had a great time. Really enjoyed it. A great group of people. The other thing that's so nice about these smaller ships is that you get to meet friends, and the next thing you know, uh, by the middle of the cruise, you're hanging out, dancing with them, having drinks, having a good time, meeting people from all over the country, and in many cases, all over the world. So Carnival just knows how to have fun, and that's always been part of their theme for sure. Okay, up next is tip number 11. That's right, impress the wife with an upgrade. Yeah, tons of room here. The bathroom is a really nice light up with a big, big mirror, two sinks, so me and Tommy T, we are not gonna fight this time. 
then the, the, the toilet is here. You can imagine how much space you have in front of you. Tons of space. This is a yeah. huge bathroom on this balcony suite. Huge Absolutely. bathroom. And we have a great cabinet, great holders for all your makeup and anything you need to, to have with you. Here you can see the room wow. is extremely Huge spacious. room, yeah. So, we can fight for space here. The desk is fantastic. Wow. I love the bedroom this room. Oh, yeah! Whoa, okay, how's okay. it feel? It feels like I, I'm taking a nap now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the rest of the very, room. Very good. Mirrors wow. all the way across the back of the bed, too. Exactly. Like you said, it just makes the room that much more spacious, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, and bright. I Especially know. with going to the Mediterranean, we wanted to have a big, big balcony. Uh, I've never had something like this. Not only is a big... Uh, uh, deck, but it's so long that you have space for sun. You're gonna have this done almost all day long. Yeah, this balcony is monster. I thought we had the monster one on the Norwegian Pearl. No. I think we outdid it on this one, folks. Absolutely. We did a whole video on that balcony suite in detail. Check that out on how to have fun cruising. But tip number 12, check out deck number three. All right, here we are on the third floor. Beautiful deck. You can come down here. Not many people down here. And as you can see, it wraps around the back of the ship too. Beautiful views off the back of the ship from floor three out here on this deck. And as you can also see, it's a great place to go away from the crowds and take a look over there. That's right, folks. Stromboli, famous volcano down here in the Med. We're having a great time, so let's uh, continue on with our video on Carnival Pride. So you don't need the fancy suite. You can get by with uh, just hanging out at deck three. That is absolutely awesome. Another big feature I like about the older ships. Uh, that was pretty much part of the traditional design that's kind of lost on some of the new ships. And uh, I've always really enjoyed that. And you can go down there during the day and there's not many people there. Tip number 13, shop till you drop. That's right, folks. Carnival is known for all of their little souvenir stores. They've got discounts on shirts, watches, hats, you name it, they've got it. It's just a lot of fun to shop on uh, Carnival Cruise Line. Okay, so if you don't like shopping, no problem. You can head back up to that buffet and you, everyone definitely loves desserts. But how about this next one, folks? That's right. We're going to show you the main dining room, and this is the most gorgeous part of this Carnival Pride. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the design of the main dining room is fantastic, and compared to a lot of dining rooms, uh, I thought this was uh, really exceptional. And uh, you can see for yourself, great design, real nice uh, decor and just absolutely beautiful, and we had a great time. Food was good, entertainment was good, they played songs, dancing every night, it was great. Overall, we enjoyed it. As you can see, this is probably the most beautiful part of the ship. The dining room is fantastic. It's a great design. I think you would agree, this is beautiful. Take a look. All right, from here in the dining room, we are going down to level two. All right, here we go. was fantastic and check out the lobster on formal night you definitely want to take advantage of that all right lobster always good always good hey. all right hey. we our new <laughs> okay we got a lot of dancing going on and you're going to get to see a leche stand up and do some dancing sit back and enjoy this one
you can see, Alice is quite the little Italian dancer. We got tip number 15. That's right. Where do you go get your IT support? Wow, look at that customer service line. But yes, luckily, I have a tip for you. If you have any Wi Fi, internet related question, guest service is not a spot, but the Pixel Heart Gallery is where you want to go, and they're going to assist you. Let's go. All right, let's check it out. Good tip, Alice. The center atrium area is absolutely gorgeous. They've got bands that play there throughout the day. But for a lot of people that are looking for the internet plan, having issues with their internet, setting up their app on their phone, all of that, don't wait in customer service. There was a lot of frustrated people because they would go to customer service, they would wait in the line, they'd get there, and then they'd send them upstairs. So to save you a tip, you just come on upstairs where all the pictures are, and they've got several people that can help you out. Overall, Carnival Pride is a terrific ship. I think you'll definitely enjoy it. Our bonus point for you is have a great time and have fun. Just get away from work and all the craziness. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Watch some great shows, entertain yourself, and thank you so much for watching. I have fun cruising!